Hey, this is Renji from Bible Project. What does wisdom look like according to Jesus? Well, in Matthew 7, 24, Jesus says, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. When a first century Jewish audience heard the word house, in this context, they instantly thought of God's house, the temple. When Jesus uses the word rock, they heard the idea of mountain, of God's mountain. So wise people build temples on God's mountain? What is Jesus getting at? In the Hebrew Bible, temple and mountain always evokes the space where God and people meet together, where God's love, wisdom, and presence could be found. Jesus' audience would have recalled the Garden of Eden, a lush mountain where humanity and God lived as one, both compelled by divine love. So what does all this have to do with wisdom? Well, our verse today is part of Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, where he talks about life in the kingdom of God. It's his vision for a world driven by wisdom, where everyone lives in right relationship with each other and God. And in this kingdom, the most powerful force is love. So when Jesus teaches people to build their house on the rock, what he is saying is that when you choose love, you are also choosing to re-enter that divine human temple mountain space with God. And when you choose love, you are partnering with God to create that space where God's presence can be found right where you're at. That will always be the wise move. Simply put, Jesus' wisdom is love. So let's trust in Jesus' way and choose love. For when we do, we become the wise people who build our house on the rock and make Jesus' loving presence real to everyone we meet.